What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech. If you're like me and you put a skin on your device, in this case the Note 9, or maybe you just want to show off its beauty even if you don't have a skin on it, you want to find the clear case. You don't want to put a black case on it or a blue case and kind of ruin that design. Today we're going to take a look at another clear case. This one is from a company called Ghost Tech. And this one has an aluminum frame, so I'm super excited to test this out. The feel of real metal on your hands is something that you really can't replicate, especially with a regular case, so I'm super excited to test out this case. And this is a clear case, so let's go ahead and take a look at it, see what it looks like on the Note 9. So on the box, you can see it says two times military drop tested. You have multi-layer protection. You have an aluminum alloy frame here, a non-slip grip, limited lifetime warranty, and on the back it basically tells you the same thing, that it has maximum features to protect your phone's function and design. If we take a look on the inside, it's basically telling you the same thing. Durable layer technology, corner to corner slim precise fit, complete impact protection. The exterior frame is designed with smart finger grip indents for maximum comfort and security. Metallic buttons. And that's something super cool. The Nimbus 9 ones have metallic buttons. And if you haven't felt a case with metallic buttons, you definitely should. And then finally, you have the clear high-res polycarbonate back to show off the beauty of your phone. So let's go ahead and just open this up and see what it's like on the Note 9. And I'm really excited, guys. And this just got delivered. And I can tell you right away, it's cold. It's about 30 degrees right now in New York City. So this is really going to feel cold in the winter and probably warm in the summer. But let's see what we have here. Thank you for your purchase. No worries. And then the insert, Ghost Tech. Now I wish they gave us some stickers. That would be kind of cool as well. But yeah, guys, right off the bat, this is pretty interesting. I've never really seen a case like this before with the metal on it. And that's what I think makes it unique. And it is super clear. Just take a look at this. Really, really clear. Other than that, you have some holes here to, I guess, for the precipitation to make sure it doesn't fog up. And they say it's a two-part case. Let's go ahead and put this on the phone and see what it's like. So, it's, let me start with the top there. And then, that's basically it, guys. This is more like, this is the phone, this is the size, this is what it is. But if you take a look at the front here, you have a nice amount of lip protection. Now this is Whitestone Dome compatible, as you can see. You have enough space in between the case and the glass, so no issues there. On the bottom here is where you have one little bumper, and I kind of like this aesthetic. It's kind of grooved in here and then goes to that bumper. Taking a look at the cutouts, they're all perfect. Really nice cutouts, oversized USB-C. And then the S Pen, let's take a look. No problems getting the S Pen out. No issues with that at all. And again, you have that same groove on the left side here. Let's press the buttons. Okay, so the buttons are a little stiff, but they're not super stiff. I don't have to put that much pressure to turn it on or off. And the same goes for the volume keys. If I'm honest with you guys, they kind of have that industrial feel. So it matches really well with this case. Other than that, this is the beauty. This is the back of the case. This is why you get this case, just to show off your beautiful device. And I like the black border. I think it looks pretty cool. You have a little company branding right on the corner there. You have a more company branding right down here, but it's all tastefully done, really well done. Really, really super cool. Looking at the back, guys, you have nice protection for your camera there. Then if you notice this plastic here is really protected because the rest of the case is raised a little bit. Just take a look at how much it's raised above this plastic. So that'll really help keep this from getting scratched. If you face your phone with the back on a table like this, you're really not gonna scratch it. And you're not gonna scratch that metal either because you have this little, little rubber protection right around so the case has a really nice attention to detail i'm definitely digging it next what we want to do is just test out wireless charging quickly let's see if that works boop boop wireless charging works without any problems all right guys so because this case is something new at least to me i've never had an aluminum style case where it really didn't flex as much as other cases would i wanted to actually test it out in the wild for a couple days and see if my thoughts change so i'm back here before i posted this video just to let you know it's been about 30 degree weather here in new york city these past two days 
And let me tell you guys, there's nothing like picking up a piece of hard cold metal and feeling it in your hands. I know. Because this is an aluminum frame and it doesn't really flex at all, it's a little more rigid, so it kind of gives your device a more squarish feel, and personally, I don't mind that at all, but it's something to keep in mind. Another thing I wish that they would do, I tend to hold my phone like this. So I hold my phone like this with the pinky kind of offering support, and the bottom here is just a little bit too sharp on the bottom. Is it something that's overly annoying? No, but it is noticeable, especially when it is a cold day, or if you're holding your phone for an extended period of time, you kind of do feel this bottom digging into your pinky. But if you don't hold your phone like this, it's nothing to worry about. And if you do hold your phone like this, it's really nothing that would make me say, don't buy this case. If Ghost Tech is listening to me, maybe just make this a little bit smoother, a little less sharp on, on the fingers. But other than that, I can say that the metal buttons are awesome. I'm definitely digging this case and I really like the design. I'm getting a lot of compliments on this. I think it suits the phone quite well and it's a different style there. That's why most people, including myself, really like this. I also have one more thing to note guys, if you take a look at the front here, you can see that it's kind of raised a little bit as well, so it's going over just a little bit over the curve, so I think that's going to offer a little bit more protection. If you do happen to drop your phone and it falls face first, it seems like the curve of your screen is protected. Because it is raised a little bit, it takes a little bit more effort to get this edge panel out. You kind of have to rub over the case and then you touch the glass, versus some people that kind of come from behind the phone and just swipe like that. If you do swipe the edge, you are kind of just swiping the case first, and then the glass, so that's something just to make note as well. I definitely would recommend this case, guys. It's really something that's unique and different. I'm liking this metal, although in winter this is gonna be pretty cold outside, but I can deal with that, no problems. It's something unique, something different, and I give Ghost Tech props for this. It's a really cool looking design, and a nice idea to give us a metal case. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. I'm feeling this case. I'm going to be rocking this as my daily driver from now on. This is going to be my new favorite case. But let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video.